So uh, let's talk about the microtonal fingering chart for the alto saxophone that was the result of my work. So we have different kinds of fingerings, all in an ascending order, from low to high, from low E on the saxophone to the high E, and it's about 650 fingerings, which means theoretically you have like 300 fingerings per octave or something like this, that makes sense. Something like this. So there's more than 128, there's alternative fingerings to 128. And let's just pick one out, out of the blue. I'm going to play four pitches now that are in between C sharp plus 44 cents until C sharp plus 53 cents. So nine cents, four fingerings in nine cents. First one. As you heard, these fingerings, some have a different timbre and some sound different, so you can choose, depending on the style of music you want to play, which fingering you, you want. Um, they are not alternative fingerings, they are. Lots of books you find alternative fingerings, false note fingerings, but the approach is really like to see which pitch they give you and therefore which emotion they um, transport. So let's say this fingering, for example, sounds dull would be good for a ballad, maybe. Yeah. And this other fingering, which is a bit lower, sounds pops more, so... So it's a different, also different playing feel and depending on the situation you might want to choose the fingering that just fits for the situation you are in. <laughs> 